Hey guys, I'm Sean, and this is gonna be my first day impressions of actually getting to play Nino Kuni Cross Worlds. So I'm playing Swordsman as a free-to-play player, and at the moment, almost everything is auto. This is primarily because the early game involves leveling up to unlock content, and the main way you do that is by completing quests, which are 99% autoed. The AI takes you to the destination and kills enemies for you. The only thing you have to do is stare at the screen and read the dialogue, accept the quest, and complete the quest. So there isn't really too much to say about the gameplay, because I spent most of my time just staring at my screen. I did do some manual stuff though, because as a free-to-play swordsman, it did not take me long to get to a point where the auto battle just wasn't working. So at level 27, I had to fight this mysterious lady, and since everything was fine and dandy, I went to get a cup of water, and then I came back, and I was dead. Yeah, so starting at level 27, auto mode is already gonna be troublesome. And even on auto, she actually killed me a couple times, because I just didn't have the damage to take her down. I actually had to run around and wait for the potion cooldown so I don't die. So yep, free to play swordsman is not gonna be an easy journey. I also did some field bossing and a little bit of dimensional quarter. Man, it was actually pretty tough. I played on an emulator, LD player, and the game is limited to 50 FPS on mobile. So it's already kind of laggy, but there's also some kind of weird client server desync or something. Cause there's some kind of weird rubber banding every time there's a boss mechanic and it's really hard to dodge. So two problems, one, weird lag, two, I'm melee. Plus, the camera keeps doing some kind of weird funky stuff like resetting, zooming in, and yeah, I I don't know. It was not a good time. I did get super lucky though, on barely my second pull from the free equipment summon coupons. I got a 4 star gauntlet, and I also used my Google Rewards balance and bought one of the launch packages. It gives you 15 familiar coupons and 5 equipment coupons. And I got another 4 star from there. It's a water familiar, so it doesn't synergize with might, but it's still a 4 star. So I'm fairly happy about that. Overall, I think the game looks nice, and I think the voice acting is good as well. I like how we have so many British people in the world. And for gameplay, I only scraped the surface of what you would do on manual, but I'm hoping it'll get better. Huh? What the... Oh, Still, I'm enjoying the game so far, and I'm hoping they fix the lag so manual becomes better. Okay, bye.